or we're hoping it's going to be a nationwide series of journalism, of gatherings of journalists, uh, to talk about uh, the industry and uh, the future of journalism. And the approach of these conversations is um, uplifting and uh, renewing and uh, looking for uh, a, a new path uh, to um, keeping doing the work that we love and that, and that drives us. When you get a bunch of journalists together, particularly those who've just lost their jobs, mm -hmm. Um, there can be a tendency to either have it be a gripe session or yeah, a pity party. Absolutely. How do you avoid it? Well, we're using an approach that was developed by a professor at Case Western University uh, called Appreciative Inquiry. And Appreciative Inquiry is a very structured conversation and it's oriented towards and geared towards um, it's oriented towards and geared towards finding the sort of cup half full in these conversations and um, finding those things that uh, drive our passion, that renew us, that uh, explain why we do what we do, and then focusing the conversation on those elements and building from our strengths rather than bemoaning what was lost or dwelling on the weaknesses. What have you learned so far about uh, the sort of uh, mental status of journalists yeah. who are uh, either on the verge of losing or have just lost their jobs? Um, I think so far what's come out of these conversations is that uh, this is an industry-wide phenomenon. Uh, this is happening to television reporters, to print reporters, to radio reporters. No one is being spared. Um, and there is no uh, safe space anymore. Um, I think that um, we are all coalescing, I think, around a kind of shared notion that uh, there's something sacred that we're trying to protect. Um, it's a, a kind of public trust, a, a fourth estate, um, uh, a watchdog status, um, and we fear that it's being lost. And um, I think that there's a general sense that we need to find ways to transmit to the younger generation how important journalism is uh, to a functioning democracy, how uh, critical uh, reporting is to keeping uh, things in the sunlight that otherwise would be in the shadows and that uh, we can't allow um, even as the, a, an industry and a business model fades into the sunset we can't allow those critical democratic functions to die. So how does that get transmitted? Well that's sort of an ongoing conversation. Um, we feel, uh, those of us who are helping organize this, that um, the answers will come organically out of the conversations. Um, and that whatever uh, these groups that we're convening around the country will come to decide uh, is uh, far more creative and inspired than anything we could come up with um, on our own. Um, and so the goal of these conversations, first and foremost, is to give the participants uh, a great experience, that the four hours that we share with them are gonna be renewing and rejuvenating and they're gonna come out uh, strengthened and inspired and passionate about what they do. Uh, but secondarily, we're hoping that we'll, we'll forge a new path for journalism from these conversations and that a new vision for uh, how to take our industry forward will come out of it.